generally speaking, low and slow. And some basic things, like first word out of your mouth should be their okay. first name. First name. Some people want to say Mr. So-and-so or Mr. First name. You're calling a friend. Because if somebody calls my cell phone, guess who answers my cell phone 99.8% of the time? You. Me. So why should somebody have to ask, is this so-and-so? So if you have to ask a question, that's a disaster too. Yeah. So like, so if... If you have to ask, is it somebody and not state their name like a fact? Like, you know, um, give me a name one more time. Oh, Cody. Cody. Thank you, Cody. Okay, so it's good. if I'm calling you, it's Cody. Just a ring ring. Hello. Cody. How are you doing? Hey, Cody, this is Mike. I'm giving you a call back. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Cody, I'm ca calling about the mortgage that it looks like you took out three months ago with PNC Bank. For the property there on Central Avenue, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's kind of ringing a bell, but I'm not too sure. Guess what? Nobody's ever told me that you couldn't remember your mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> I ask questions, I get yeses too. <laughs> now, <laughs> now then I might get up. We already, we are, we done sold the property, or we done paid it off, or my payment's not late. <laughs> I mean, but it's rare that if it's a mortgage protection lead that I get a, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. Okay, so if you understand my questions are designed to get me yeses. First thing, even though it's not a question, it gets me a yes. I'm calling about your mortgage, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Then I can go on and say, well, the reason I'm calling Cody is uh, they put this file on my desk. And you may not remember this, but sometime around the closing or after the closing, it looks like you completed this application form for the mortgage protection for that loan. You know the program that covers your mortgage payments if you die or have a heart attack or stroke? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to get a yes or no. So if it's a mortgage protection, even the specific to mortgage protection, those are that's my yes train. Yes to their name, yes to their mortgage, yes to the form. Now, notice like, if it's a RW lead, it's two years old, I might say you may not remember this, but it looks like sometime around the closing that the W felt this form. You know what I'm talking about? Does this sound familiar? And if they say, no, I don't remember, they're actually still agreeing with me because I said, you may not remember. So when they said, I said, well, that's it. And if they said, I don't remember, I said, Cody, that's exactly why I'm calling. Because it looks like this is overlooked or forgotten. And with COVID and all the stuff that's been happening the last two years, we know there's some people that somehow got missed or their stuff didn't get taken care of property, properly, which is why your file's on my desk to make sure we get you this packet of information and make sure you and your family aren't left in the dark. So you can use the fact that it's been a while and they don't remember as that's the reason why the file's on your desk. You don't need to be scared by that. You don't need to be like apologetic. No, that's what I'm calling. You know, and be more emphatic about that. So I think it, you can be bold and be direct in that. But the things now the appointment's booked and they have to do something to stop me. That's the mindset. You know, it's like because and you say, Mike, why do we have to be that bold and that forward? Because Adults act like children. <laughs> adults act like children. We have to be the adult in the room or the parent in the room to help get them there. This is a sprint to get to their house before the Grim Reaper gets there. He is trying to get there too. So we're having a race. We're going to see who's going to win. You or the Grim Reaper. And it's important. And if you're wondering, is it important? Is it real? Yeah. It, people die. If stuff happens. Somebody just told me they had a client that died like on a was it you, Charlie? Thirty days ago. Thirty days ago. Like you, you so you knocked you did a door knock, it was a I did a door knock and it was for Mr. and Mrs. and I said, Is is George in? I know he passed away last month. So not the first time it's happened to me, but passed away last month. He gone. So I mean so it it's like so yeah, we're we're trying to get there and do our thing and make it happen as quickly as possible. You've got to really acknowledge, get in the spirit of acknowledging what they say, because what most people can't stand is when they're ignored. It annoys people to no end when they've been ignored. So if you basically can repeat back what they just said, they're going to start to like you more. Oh, this guy listened to me. That's, that's, you know, that's huge when you can acknowledge people.